There it is. Before we go any further in today's video, I wanna thank you guys so much for 900 subscribers. It has been a long time coming. It's not about the numbers to me. I do this because I enjoy making videos and I enjoy building things and documenting the things that I build. And I always keep in mind that behind every single one of those numbers is a person. It's not just a numbers game. So if you watch my videos, I wanna thank you. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope to share a lot more cool things with you this year. One last week's video, I made the joke that my new engine would get here sometime between when I ordered it and when it got here. It got here a lot faster than I expected it to. So this is my new engine for the KTM Sketchy Cart, Drift Cart, Two Stroke Drift Cart, Drift Cart from Hell, whatever you want to call it. It's got like 10 different names. It is a KTM motor. It is a uh, clone engine that I purchased off of eBay. It's identical to the KTM engine that I had in the bike. Now the whole reason that I sold the bike and decided to pick this up instead, I felt guilty ripping the heart out of that little machine. And by that, I mean the bike was very low hours, it was very clean, no issues with it. I fixed the only issues that there were with it. What was I going to do with the frame and the suspension and everything else? I had the title to it, so I figured somebody can buy that for their kid, they'll have a blast, they'll make a ton of memories, just like me and all of my friends did growing up, and it got the bike frame out of my garage. Yes, I could have ripped the engine out of that, made sure that it worked, bought one of these, and either put it in the cart or back in the bike frame, which I wouldn't have felt right doing. In short, it was just easier to sell the bike and buy this. So real quick rundown, it is still a KTM 50cc two-stroke engine. It's liquid-cooled, centrifugal clutch, so there's no gears to it really, it's just one speed, which keeps it simple for this build because then I don't have to deal with a clutch and gears and how we're gonna shift and do all of that. It's gonna keep it simple for this cart, but I have plans moving forward to build something a little bit more in depth. I'll probably use foot controls and I'll build a shifter and a linkage and all sorts of cool stuff for that, but that's on a completely different build. Came shipped with like a toothpick stuck in the crankcase vent so nothing gets down in there. So I just left it there. I taped off the reeds and the coolant hoses and the exhaust port just so nothing got in there. While the engine's not hooked up to anything, there's grounds that need connected to the frame. Everything's cool. When I ordered it, it did not show this anodized billet aluminum water pump cover. And if you actually look at this, I don't know if I can get it on camera with this lighting. It was actually milled on a CNC, so there's tool marks all over it. It looks really cool. I can appreciate that because I build things like that for a living. And of course, after I ordered it, I come to find out that there are upgraded GoFast parts for this. So that's in the cards for the future. It's got a nine tooth front sprocket on it. I'm gonna be building motor mounts that the bolts go through here and here, and then there's another hole here for a third bolt. It's literally identical to the KTM motor, so it is kickstart. It folds forward and then kicks forward. I'm not gonna do that because there's no fluids in it right now. So the carb goes into the reeds here and then the fuel lines will get run. I'll have to play with all of that when the time comes. When I ordered this, it said it would get here between February 10th and March 10th. From me ordering it to it being on my front step was I think eight days, which was a lot faster considering that it did come from China. FedEx got it here super fast and I could not be happier for that. But they got it here fast enough that I didn't even get to Barnes Brothers to order exhaust for it yet. So there's a few things that I still need to order. I need rear brakes, I need a drive chain, and I need exhaust. But other than that, Danny and I are going to start building the chassis within the next few weeks here. I'm working on the Subaru this Friday. Gonna get the drift car finished up and ready to send. I'm texting in the group message with my Pittsburgh friends now and they want me out driving in like April when they get out to drive. That's definitely doable, we'll make it happen. Thank you for believing in me and thank you again for 900 subscribers. Let's run it to a thousand super fast. There's new beanies and hoodies on the way. I also have these 12 ounce tall boy koozies. They're perfect for Red Bull or White Claw or anything that's in a tall skinny can like that, they will all drop at the same time, most likely by the end of February. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe at Horsepower Pizza on Instagram, at Pizza Boy Metalworks, www.horsepowerandpizza.com. Peace out, build it for you.